Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at some CZ-75 pistols, and while not necessarily historic, they are certainly uh, Militaria, and they've been used by tons of militaries, law enforcement, and private citizens all over the world for all kinds of things. Uh, today we're just going to be looking at the differences and similarities between the CZ-75 family of compact pistols, uh, a lot of people are pretty interested in these guns. They uh, look into carry one f or just have one for home defense or just to shoot. And while there's a lot of similarities be between them, there are some differences. And if you're looking to purchase one, I just thought it might be helpful to sort of go through and look at what sets them all apart from each other. So just to run through what we have here, right here we have your standard uh, CZ-75 Compact, and that's just uh, the smaller version of the CZ-75. Over here, we actually have the CZ-PCR, which it stands for Police Czech Republic. And then right here, we have your CZ-75P01 uh, Compact, which is very similar, a little bit different. Um, so your CZ-75 compact, this is a 15 round or 10 round, depending on the state you live in, uh, magazine capacity gun, and it is a single double action. And by the way, all these guns have been cleared and are unloaded, and we've checked that before we even started this video. We're not going to waste time showing you that again. Uh, so this gun... When it's cocked, it will fire. And then when it comes back, it stays and you just keep firing in single action mode at that point. This does have the double action pull through. So you pull through and there you go. Uh, the difference being, it does not have a decock on it. So when this is cocked, this will act as your safety. You put this into safe mode and you can then theoretically carry it if you choose to do it like that and again blocks you not going to go off fire put it into fire and then obviously let it go the downside to this of course is that uh, if you do decide to carry it with a round chambered and you don't want to have it cocked you actually will have a gun that is cocked and chambered and you will have to then manually lower your hammer onto a loaded chamber now that can be a safety issue uh, depending I'm not going to really get into whether that's a good idea or not uh, everyone's going to have an opinion about it you kind of have to decide for yourself if that's how you want to do it this is an all steel gun so it's going to weigh a little bit more than your other two variants and this is actually going to weigh in it at about 32 ounces with a height of five inches, a barrel length of 3.75 inches, a width of just about 1.4 inches, and an overall length of about seven and a quarter inches. And that those measurements are going to be the same for all of these. Uh, the only difference is the weight is going to be a little bit less on both of these. But so that's your CZ-75. Uh, very nice gun, feels really good in the hand, very solid. That extra four ounces is going to eat up some of the recoil as well. And that might be uh, something to think about for maybe newer shooters or whatnot. But 9mm doesn't have a lot of recoil, really, for most anybody. They can get used to it. So I don't know how big of a difference that's going to make for anybody. Uh, but it does feel like a nice solid gun and some people do like that all steel gun they don't want the aluminum alloy frames that you're going to find on on these two guys uh, roll marks on these are just going to be uh, cz75 compact and just your standard uh, cz markings nothing special and flip it over and you've got your serial number date of manufacturer 2021 and all that good stuff. Uh, and then moving on, we'll go to the P01, or not, sorry, the PCR now. 
Now this is an aluminum framed gun, so you're going to be looking at a little bit of a weight savings. And on this guy, you're going to have uh, 28 ounces, so 4 ounces less than your uh, CZ75 compact. The other difference is going to be your sights are not going to be your standard uh, CZ75 sights. These are uh, snag free for carrying concealed and sort of a when you draw you they're not going to snag on anything whereas theoretically your CZ75 standard sights could. Um, also this gun has got a loaded chamber indicator right here. So when that chamber is loaded, that will show. And that was something uh, designed for police and uh, can be handy depending if that's something you like. Um, other than that, it is a pretty standard CZ d design. The other difference is, again, when this gun is cocked, you do have a decock on this. You do not have the manual safety of your CZ-75. So, you do that and it drops it into a half cock position. Now this can still be pulled through just like that. And also you can just keep your hammer down. You can certainly do like you do on the CZ-75 where you have a cocked hammer and then lower it onto a loaded chamber if you choose to do that. And then you just pull through and there you go. Again, uh, very nice gun. These these are actually extremely comfortable in the hand, extremely comfortable to carry. Um, you may not like the alloy frame. Some people do, some people don't. Doesn't really seem to matter to most people. Uh, these are extremely popular in terms of the CZ design and uh, are probably one of the best sellers on the CZ compact list. Um, other than that, not really a big difference over your CZ-75 compact. Um, again, same magazine, same overall dimensions other than the weight. Uh, they, and the nice thing is the magazines are interchangeable between all these guns. As a matter of fact, uh, you could theoretically use any CZ-75 magazine in these. Just remember that if you buy CZ-75 full-size magazines, they will stick out beyond this. So that can be a little bit difficult, but they will still function in the gun. And then moving on to our CZ-75 or CZ-75 P01, however you'd like to call it. Um, again, very similar to your PCR. Same single action, double action uh, hammer here. You cock that. You've got your decock into half cock position or hold it like this and you can actually drop it down and then pull through like that. Now the big difference with this guy is you actually have a full size uh, frame here that go comes to the end whereas on this guy your frame only comes to right there. So this allows for an accessory rail right here which will fit any standard M1913 uh, accessory, light, laser, anything you'd like to hang off it. If you decide that's so, sort of your truck gun, your, your bedside gun, anything like that, which makes this a little bit more handy, but not as concealable for a lot of people. The other difference is you've got your standard three dot sights that you have on most uh, CZs or CZ75s. So different than what you have on the PCR. Again, the PCR has the no snag ones. And from what I understand, finding replacement sites for your PCR is a little more difficult. Uh, not that many are being made, whereas for CZ75s, there's a lot of uh, options because they are such a standard site. Um, other than that, the gun feels very much the same. Same dimensions, same weight as your PCR. Again, 28 ounces versus 32 on the CZ-75 uh, Compact, because this is an alloy frame. Same magazine, uh, all that good stuff. This does not have the loaded chamber indicator. If that's important to you, that might be something to take into consideration. But again, just a very nice gun, feels really good in the hand. Uh, I'll just say the CZ 
fit and finish is what you would expect from CZ. Just a really excellent, no complaints whatsoever. And we'll just take a look at the markings on this guy. You have uh, CZ P01, all your good standard stuff. Nothing amazing there. Flip it over. And these actually have a NATO number on them because they are uh, technically accepted by NATO as a NATO standard weapon. So they just kind of put that, uh, I guess, sort of for decoration more than anything. And your American market uh, markings, along with your 2021 date. And on your PCR, they actually have uh, CZ75D for the decock and your standard markings other than that flip it over you do not have a NATO number on your PCR uh, just your standard markings serial number 2021 date and that sort of gives you an idea of the similarities and differences between these uh, you can customize all the grips all that good stuff there's there's a myriad number of, of grips aftermarket for these um, more aggressive less aggressive all that kind of good stuff one other thing i will mention is the pcr and the p01 both have this front and rear stippling which the cz75 compact does not have and now if that's a big deal to you i don't know but just something else to think about the other thing that you may notice you've got your front and rear serrations on both of these on your pcr and your po1 you do not have front serrations on your cz75 compact um, on a gun this size, I'm not really sure that that's going to make much of a difference, but some people really like those front serrations, and it's just a an extra option. So the the, the CZ75 standard compact maybe has a little bit less in terms of bells and whistles, if you want to look at it that way, but is still an excellent gun either way you do it. And one thing I will mention about the magazines, now they are all standard for these and they will fit but i just wanted to point out one thing now the company that makes this for cz is metgar and they pretty much make all the oem uh, magazines for beretta as well and and other companies they are an excellent company they've been around since uh, at least the 60s and they've just made tens of millions of magazines now these are both for the, the CZ compacts. Uh, one is one that actually came with the CZ gun, so it is branded there on the front. And this is another one made by Metgar that did not come, and is just the Metgar logo there on the front. But it's half the price. Even though both are made by Metgar, this guy has your witness holes for nine millimeter flip it over no witness holes on the other side the cz branded one has witness holes for nine millimeter on one side flip it over it has witness holes for 40 caliber on this side so you could theoretically use it for both 40 caliber and nine millimeter if you have uh, a compact in 40 caliber I don't know about you, but it doesn't really make a big difference to me to have those witness holes or not. And it certainly doesn't make a big difference to me uh, what logo you have on the front here, whether it's Metgar or CZ. But the CZ magazines, about double the price of the Metgars, even though Metgar makes both and they are identical other than that. So you might want to consider that if you're looking to buy multiple magazines, uh, save yourself some money. Uh, that you could actually use for shooting. But I hope this has kind of given you an idea about these guns and what would work for you and what, uh, what you think would be the best for you. Uh, just one other thing I will mention. All these guns have luminescent sights. 
Uh, that's not that's to say they are not actual night sights, but they are uh, luminescent in that they get under light and then they will glow in the dark for a, a quite substantial amount of time. And those are the standard sights that uh, CZ puts on their guns. You can get night sights. There's all kinds of options for that or pretty much anything you'd like to do. But uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you out. And just hope this gives you an idea about which of the CZ-75 family of compact pistols will work for you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll be back soon.